SE ranking tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you SE ranking tutorial for absolute beginners in 2021. Firstly, I want you to come on to serenking.com. So guys, when you come on to serenking.com, simply click on start free trial from over here. And then after that, wait for a couple of seconds. And then from over here, you can sign up for absolutely free. Simply put in your first name, last name, email, phone number, password, and then after that, I'm going to catch you guys in just a second. So when you've signed up successfully, you will be able to see this dashboard in front of you. Now from over here, you can basically create yourself a new project and you can check your website's rankings for all locations and devices and also get a comprehensive website audit and tons of extra information per keyword. This is always accurate and always on time. Now from the left side, you can basically see some more features over here as well. Now. To make these features available, you basically have to first verify your email address. So I'm going to do that right now. So once you do that, these options are going to be visible and you will be able to basically start using them or when you first create a project, that is also when these options will be available. So now from over here, simply click on create your first project. And then after that, simply from over here, you have to put in this information. They're going to ask you for your website URL, your project name, your domain type, your group and also your search range. So now from over here, what I want you to do is that I want you to simply like type in a website URL over here. Now I'm gonna type in over here, basically small word motions. And then after that, I'm gonna basically choose a domain. Yeah, so like now it looks like this. And then after that, I want you to simply like, you know, choose these options, click on next. Now, if it says in create website URL, you basically have to remove this. And then now from over here, basically change it to your own website URL. Click on next again. And now it's saying that I cannot add another website over here. So I'm going to basically type in um, weight loss 101.googlesites.com. So like once I do this, let's see if this works. So this is also saying that, that this is an incorrect website URL. So like essentially you have to put in a genuine website. So I'm going to try to put in another website. Maybe, maybe that'll work because like sometimes you really need to know the fixes of these errors. So once I put in a particular URL, now I see that it works. So now from over here, I can basically add keywords manually. So I can track website ranking positions for all the keywords that I'm interested in. So like, for example, if my website is about dentistry, I'm going to simply click on dental emergency near me. I'm going to click on plus plus basically all the keywords that I think are about my particular business. So I'm going to like click on this, click on this again. And now I basically have five keywords. I'm going to click on add keyword five. And then I basically have these keywords added. Now I'm going to click on next and then wait for a couple of seconds. And then that is going to basically take you over to another page. So now from over here, you can basically like, you know, choose your own search engine and also your country. So like we have the location, we have the language as well. We have the country, we have the search engine. So like now from over here, I want you to like simply choose your location and I want you to like type in the location which you want to see the ranking positions of. You can indicate a city or postal code to get accurate results. And if you do not specify an exact location, you'll see the average ranking positions for the selected country. So now from over here, click on add search home, click on next again. And then from over here, you will basically be able to see all of your competitors. So now you can basically add competitors over here, or you can click on suggest competitors. So once I do this, I will be able to see basically all the different competitors that this particular business has. I'm going to add in these competitors and then I'm going to basically like click on add competitors and then I'm going to click on next and then I will be able to see basically all the stats and everything. So I can basically connect Google analytics and also connect Google search console as well. If I wanted to now I'm going to click on finish and there I go. Now I have my stats over here and I will be able to see everything about my particular website over here. I can sort this by month, by three months, by six months. And then all in all, this is going to be crazy. So right now I am on a trial period. They basically have a 14 day free trial. And then after that, you basically have to pay a certain amount. So before we dive into the pricing, I'm going to first show you all the different features that are available on the left side. We have the analytics and traffic. So the analytics and traffic are basically the overview of the traffic, the snippets, and also the Google search console data, and also the SEO potential potential options. So I'm going to basically open up the overview and now let's take a look at the overview. So now from over here, you can basically connect Google analytics or Google search console over here. And then that is basically going to like, you know, make things super easy. So click on 
connect Google Analytics, and then after that, simply choose a Gmail account of yours. And then after that, wait for a couple of seconds and click on allow. And then that is gonna basically like, you know, connect your Google Analytics over here. So like that is basically how you can keep track of your analytics and traffic. Now from the left side, you also have the SEO potential option. So the SEO potential option basically tells you how much money you are actually like, you know, leaving on the table and how much more money you can make by simply like, you know, improving your SEO and having more people come towards your particular website. Then we have the my competitor section and also the marketing plan option. You can basically like, you know, have yourself a to do list, which you can simply follow and which you can simply like, you know, just keep track of to like basically achieve your marketing goals. And then at the end, eventually have a big marketing budget and get yourself lots and lots of customers. And then we basically have the business listings option. So like definitely the option is there and the potential is definitely there. Then you have the website audit option. So let's go over the website audit option. And now we can basically see like, you know, what is happening with the website. So like right now, the health of the website is at 59. It can go like, you know, to a hundred as well. If you really wanted it to, then you have the domain metrics. You have the Alexa rank, the pages in Google, the pages in Yahoo, pages in Bing, and also all the different things that have been indexed of this particular website. Then also all these other options as well. It basically external do follow, internal do follow, and all these stats are really, really helpful when you actually want to like, you know, see how much your website has actually grown and how much of that growth has been organic or through marketing. So like that is tremendously great. So from the left side, you can also see like all these different reports, your issue report, your crawl pages, your found resources, found links, crawl comparison, and page changes members as well. So like all in all, you basically have all your main features over here. Then we basically have the backlink monitor as well. So like using the backlink monitor, you can actually like, you know, keep track of so many more things like the domains, the anchor test, the pages, the IP submit, the disavow, the domains, the backlinks, like all that good stuff. Then you even have the social media as well. You can basically connect your social media accounts and then also like, you know, keep track of your growth from there. And then eventually like, you know, make better decisions regarding your project's growth. So guys, this is basically the whole interface of SE ranking. Now we're gonna take a look at the pricing. So for the pricing, they basically offer a lot of different plans. So like right now from the right side, you can basically see some stats and everything. So I'm gonna click on buy subscription and now we can see there are three plans. So over here up top, you can basically sort how you wanna pay and then basically get like, you know, discounts and stuff. So for one month, you will be charged $39 for the essential plan, $89 for the pro plan and $189 for the business plan. And then obviously there are more features in the business plan. And then eventually like, you know, you basically have more and more in the business plan. But if you were to pay, you know, like annually, you can save $456 in the business plan. You can save $96 in the essential plan and you can save $216 in the pro plan. So like guys, definitely the option is there and you can actually like, you know, save so much money and honestly, buy yourself something from all the money that you save so guys that is basically how this works and like they have a really really clever pricing campaign over here i mean like honestly this is this is so clever like anybody would want to go for the annual plan because this is such a better deal so when you're ready you simply click on buy now and then that is basically going to be taking you over to their buying a section and you can simply buy via visa paypal wire transfer you know like basically union pay and also mastercard jcb and all those big names as well so like definitely you can pay however you want to and guys this is basically the beginner's tutorial of se ranking i hope this tutorial helped you guys out a lot and if it did make sure to smash that like button subscribe until next time goodbye